interested in coaching? Uh, I kind of suck at the game, so <laughs> I, I need some help. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. Now, you say you suck at the game, and I look at your form here, and your masters, or at least you were at the time of the form, so I'm sure the sucking is relative. <laughs> yeah. Um. So how long have you been playing? Uh, four years now. Maybe three. It's around there. Okay, okay. And I see support player mostly? Yeah. Why support specifically? Uh, when I first started, I thought people would be playing like tank or DPS. So, I, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I thought support was the least popular role at the time. Do you enjoy support? Yeah, I think it's fun. Okay. I okay. mostly I mostly want Trig Lucio anyway, so like I DPS. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I see a. I see a lot of support characters, but like right now, you're just mostly one tricking Lucio. Yeah. Okay. Like, wh why Lucio particularly? Um, when I first started, I played I one tricked Mercy, and then she got nerfed. And because it's Mercy and Lucio are like the main support type of thing, and they're like pretty similar. Okay. I started playing Lucio. Sure. How are you liking it? I enjoy it. That's about why? the only character I play because it's fun. I get to go fast. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, what do you have to get out of the session? You said you suck. And on the forum, yeah. you said, um, we need to improve my understanding, game sense, and mechanics. Now, talk to me about understanding. Maybe it's one of the, I don't understand what I don't understand. But I assume that there's, to an extent, you have an ex expectation of, like, what you don't understand. And what is it that you don't understand? It feels like... I'm just really slow to understand what's happening sure. to me at least. And so it just, yeah, everything just goes way too fast for me to understand what's happening. And then it's like, ah, shit, I'm like there, not. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. 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 We'll take, we'll take a look. Anything in particular uh, with your game sense then? Cause that was the other one. Uh, Not really. Just like it get, I guess just game, just like like point out things that I could just like like understand or like do better. Essentially. Okay, sounds good. And then in terms of mechanics, is it just because you're new to the character, or do you want to improve that, or is there anything in particular that comes to mind? Just like not not really. Just like well, just point out things that I could have done better, or just like. Like ability usage and just like all that. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So you seem pretty, pretty broad with what you're looking here. You suck. Game seems yeah. saying mechanics. There's nothing really specific that comes to mind outside the fact that it's it's gonna be Lucio, right, and not the other. Yeah. Standards. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Straight enough. Um, you're playing Overwatch three to five times per week, two to four hours per day. Now, how is that time spent? I don't know if you've seen some of my other sessions, but there are some general guidelines that you should be going for. Um. Uh, uh... Before, like, the, these past two weeks, it's been two hours of scrim, like, and then... Oh, so you're scrimmaging. Yeah. Okay, so how often do you scrimmage, and is it a collegiate team, or is it just a, uh, just a just random a team? team just a random team, I'm just, I just apparently joined, so... Okay, okay, why did you join the team? Uh, just the fun? vibes, to be honest, it was fun, so... Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Are you enjoying the time with the team? Yeah, well... Okay. Before, well, the past, like, two weeks, the team has exploded, so now oh. I'm not on a team, so okay. I'm just trialing for teams right now. But you'll be you'll be pursuing that, okay, in the future. Yeah. And then how often do, do you generally scrimmage with these teams? I, I assume it, like, where you're at right now, it's probably, like, what, two times a week? Uh, three, maybe four times a week, and then... Oh, the really? Days that I don't, the days that I don't play, it's, like, I play comp, okay. solo queue. Okay. Okay. So, on the days that you scrimmage, do you play ranked, or is it just the scrim? No, just the, just the scrim. Because after the scrim, I'm just like mentally, I'm done. I don't. I don't want to play the game anymore. Because like it's tired. To me, it's mentally tiring. And then, on the days that we don't scrim, um, I'm playing comp, solo queue, doing all that stuff. Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, um, how long are you comping in the days that you don't scrim? Uh, like two, maybe three, if I have like a duo. Okay, so two, maybe three, and then how often does that happen? So you're saying that you're scrimmaging 
two to three days per week, four days a week, somewhere around that. Mm -hmm. And then on the days on that days I don't scrim, not, I play a comp. Okay. And how many days is, so that's usually like one or two days. Is that two or one three? or two days, one or two days, depending on like, if it's, if a three day scrim, like if it's, a, if we're scrimming three times a week, like on one week, I'll play comp like, like two out of the three days that I, we're not scrimming. And then I'll mm. just have one day off just to like do other things. And not okay. Yep. Makes total sense. Makes total sense. So in the meantime, while you're between teams, the priority is going to be on you practicing what you need to practice in ranked. Yeah. Right. And then obviously when you are with teams, some of your focus is going to be shifting a little bit towards what you need to be practicing with the team, of course. Yeah. Now, the good news is that I think that there is a bit of a myth, certainly not as true as people say it is, that you know you have team play stuff that you work on in team play, and then you have scrim stuff that you work on, um, and then you have rank stuff. Mm -hmm. The way I look at it is I actually think that a lot of the stuff that you work on in while you're scrimmaging mm -hmm. has carry over to ranked if you know the way that you look at it. All right. So if we're working on like, who are you plus wanting? Where are you angling? Cooldown usage, stuff like that. That definitely carries over to, to scrims or ranked and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Now, are you taking breaks during your ranked days? Uh, no. I just kind of sit there and wallow in sadness or happiness. Okay. Not, if I went around. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You could probably... Guess my recommendation then. Yeah, I uh, should probably not be at the computer. Sure. And take a yeah. walk. You got it. Maybe five you know minutes. The route. Maybe not even five minutes. Maybe thirty seconds. Yeah. Better than nothing, you know. I think mm -hmm. like if if it's if it's not something that you're able to stick with consistently because you just want to play or you like I'm I'm like you like I don't like like when I lose a game, I'm like I want to get back in. I want a vod review or I want to immediately gun jump into deathmatch and work on my mechanics, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that might not be the most effective way of doing things, though. So yeah. I think that's where you take the 30 seconds, take the minute even just away from your computer, take a walk, come right back. Just just a minute, just 30 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just do a couple laps. Uh, but yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, I would work at that. Um, and then are you in ranked essentially only playing Lucio or are you other playing other characters as well? Uh, it depends. Talk to so, me about when, where it depends. I'll be playing Lucio when I have a flex support. Like, there's the, my other support is playing a flex support. But if they're playing Life Weaver, Mercy, Zen, I'm playing either playing Kiri or Ana. Okay. Or Bap, depending on the tank. Okay. What I would recommend is pick one and lock that one. Okay. Because you want, it's good to expand your hero pool, but if you're kind of picking it depending on the tank, you might increase your chances of winning the game, but you're going to decrease your chances of actually building your hero pool. Yeah. You know? So what I would mm -hmm. do is I would be like, right now I'm grinding Lucio, plus I'm kind of improving my Kiriko mechanics or my bat mechanics because like that's my go-to second choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. I would prefer. That's what All I right. would prefer. Um, okay. That's going to be a little bit more efficient use of what you're doing. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's, that would be my recommendation. Make it a, a one plus one and, and go from there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going here. Any questions so far? No. Now you've got goals here. I want to be a better player than I was yesterday and to win a tournament. Now, is it just any particular tournament or just, just, just be win a, a tournament, man. I've been playing this game for so long. It feels like so long and I just want to win. Something. Okay. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, and then also you want to reach top 500 long-term. Yeah. Okay, so point. this is where you're going to have to kind of evaluate your current play time. Your play mm -hmm. time right now, what rank are you right now after the whole season I and rank reset, all that kind of shit? Uh, M5, so. M5, okay, so sounds yeah. good. So I would say with your play time right now, plus your mm -hmm. scrimmaging, you could probably realistically dance around mid masters maybe high masters if you get juicy mm -hmm. i don't know if grand masters going to be realistic it might happen i have worked with players that have but it, it, it's it might be difficult okay yeah so what you need to do though is you need to evaluate your goals again mm -hmm. because your goals right now like maybe the winning the tournament like you know there's lots of 
tournaments that are you could probably win or collegiate stuff or this and that mm-hmm. like it's not out yeah. of the ballpark but like in terms of top 500 that you your goals in your playtime are completely different okay so that's not a problem though. Like there's nothing like I don't think that like oh you need to play the game more. Like it's a video uh, game, right? You're yeah. already really good at the video game. You've done a good job. You've you've competed. It's a good experience. There's lots of other things you can do with your life. I don't want to mm-hmm. encourage you necessarily to put more time in the video game, but I will say that like in general, like your play time if that is your goal, it's not going to happen. And the reason why I think that's so important is because I think it's a really important life skill to be realistic. Mm-hmm. To be yeah. realistic and to develop like that level of maturity of like, okay, this is outside of where I'm at right now. So I'm going to spend my time elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah. So you need to go, I'm either going to set more realistic goals and enjoy what I'm doing right now because you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're, you're doing great things right now and we can make it even better. Or you could need to go, man, I really do want to reach that goal. I really do like Overwatch. I'm going to make more time for it. Yeah. And that's your choice. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I just think there's like a certain level of it's important to be realistic about your goals. You know, it's important. I yeah. think that's a that that helps yeah. you to be true to yourself. You know, and not to be all philosophical, but I, I think it's important. I think it's important. Yeah. Okay, so I would say if you wanted to reach top 500, what I my first step would be to be. I like that you have one day off. I think that's totally fine. Okay. But I what I would try to do is on the days that you're scrimmaging, I would try to get an hour of ranked in. Okay. And on the days that you are playing ranked, I would definitely aim for the two to three hour mark. Make sure that you're taking breaks, make sure that you have goals. So what you might notice is that you're like, but is that really enough? No, it's not, but it's more than what you're doing right now. And it is an improvement. So let's start with that and see how that goes. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. you, what you do is you get a, a couple more hours of like two or three more hours of, of, of ranked per week. And you make sure that you make your time uh, productive and then just see how that goes in terms of your like practice quality. And then we reevaluate yeah. from there. That would be my recommendation. Mm-hmm. All right. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, let's keep going here. Any questions so far? No. Okay. What do you feel is holding you back from improving? We talked a little bit about that with what do you hope to get out of the session? Game sense, positioning, mechanics, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you say understanding high level players it's like they're processing the game so much faster than i am they have an immediate idea of what they're trying to do it takes me a couple seconds to figure it out i also think that my mechanics aren't good enough to play higher so here's the good news your what you're describing is not only normal but almost Mm -hmm. impossible to avoid so question here is how long have you been playing lucio seriously and we talked about that being a relatively recent evolution mm. correct yeah how recent uh, exactly i don't remember you might have mentioned this i might have missed it since the start of overwatch 2 okay so still relatively recent so when you yeah. watch these higher level players these guys might have more repetition than you yeah and that's why they're making those processes faster now there are yeah. some physiological things like maybe you don't get as much sleep or, or maybe you've had a stressful day or maybe your work is a little bit more stressful. You've got other IRL obligations, whatever, that yep. might slow down your processing time. But the reason most of the time why people are faster at processing things is they've just done it more. And so yeah. they actually don't think faster than you. They don't really think at all. It just mm. happens. Yeah. And that goes with both things that you described, both you knowing what to do in any situation and crucially your mechanics. Mm-hmm. And you might be aware of that. Just a good reminder. Just a good reminder. Don't feel like, oh, there's something wrong with me. No, there's nothing wrong with you at all. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you at all. Just need to keep doing what you're doing right now. Do it productively and go from there. Make sense? Yeah. Now, I will say one thing. uh, Your sleep is on the lower end. Yeah. And again, going with your goals and going with your sleep, conflicting conflicting yeah. Yeah. now i'm going to assume that you've probably tried to quote unquote fix your sleep schedule am i correct yeah attempted but that didn't stay very okay. long okay did not okay what did you try to do and how did you approach it so i just tried to sleep like an hour earlier than i did the la- last night and see if that would help and it did to like some extent, but then on days, there'll be just some days where I'll just 
be up just talking to people. Got it. Through Discord. And like, oh, well, it's 3 a.m. And I probably should go to sleep now. So right. Right. So so your sleep problems are maybe not so much like insomnia, so much as just like you've got other like social things that you are doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Um, what I would say is I would take a look at what you're doing. And remember in the same way that we said that like what I would like to do if you're aiming for top 500 is just do this instead. Don't try to do this. I think the yeah. same thing is with your sleep. I would say trying to go to, to bed an hour earlier is pretty extreme. Okay. Pretty extreme. What I would do is just try a smaller compensation or compromise yeah. and be like, hey, I wonder if I could just like try to not stay up past 3.30 in the morning ever. <laughs> yeah. try to you know yeah or, or or like let's say let's say that like if i do stay up really 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 late that i try the next night to go to bed half an hour earlier mm -hmm. like the, the, okay. the tricky thing with sleep is that generally sleep is something that um is relatively you want to come as close as you can to a routine it doesn't have to be perfect but a routine mm -hmm. is good even if your routine is like scuff like i go to bed super late and get up super late that that's fine just as long as your body is in that routine it's when you start to like yeah. all of a sudden try to go to bed an hour later or sleep in an hour and a half later than you usually like that's when people really start to mess up like the average like you think about like the average like nine to five right what do they do they get up at like 6 30 in the morning and then the weekends they sleep until like 10 and like that's just actually so bad for you you know like you, you need to like mm -hmm. you need to try and approach something closing to a routine and by the yeah. way that also applies to your overwatch ranked schedule as well how many people yeah. do you know that like don't play rank for like three or four days and then play rank for like nine or ten hours straight you know a few people right like that's that that's that's very common but it's it's actually so bad for practice like it's really hard to be consistent when you do that so i don't mm -hmm. know I, what i would do is again like like i said don't try to be ridiculous like like set the bar so high that like it's impossible to stick with but i will yeah. say that like there is a world where you could find like a compromise of something that's a little bit better than the way that you're approaching it right now and mm -hmm. just see how it goes yeah that would be my recommendation make sense yeah yeah okay uh any questions so far nope all right, I don't really have any questions from your forum. I know we've been beating you over the head with it, but the stuff is important. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna. The longer that you address things like your sleep schedule, or your ring schedule, or you know, mm -hmm. your goals and things like that, little details like that over long periods of time really, really, really add up. Okay, mm -hmm. um, no questions. No. Nope. If not, then we will. Uh, we can jump into our session if you'd like. If you want to yeah. shoot me a code with some some thoughts as to to why you chose the code. Uh, so. The map is New Queen Street. Um, this is like, this is my second day trialing with the team, with the new team. Got it. Okay. And it was a pretty close map. And then like, there's some, I felt like I could have done more to like win the map, but we just didn't. And then, mm. yeah. We yeah. can always do more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm aware. We could always do more, but like, mm, nice. It's probably the one that's where you can tangibly feel like I was so close to doing more that that's yeah. frustrating, you know. Now, so you, when you make the mm noise, again, is it is it because you know, like, I choked here, here, and here? Or is it more like, I feel like I could do more, but I don't know what? Or is it a little bit of both? A little bit of both. Okay. On what regard? Um... When I watch back, like, this, like, when I watch back this, it felt like I was just doing air. And, like, what am I doing? I could be, like, doing more, more, doing things, take positions. I don't know. There's just a lot of things. Okay, okay. Now, you saying that you feel like you could be doing more implies that you at least have an idea that... You have somebody planted the seed that you need to be doing more. Where was that seed planted? Was it one of my videos? Is it watching other pro Lucios play? Uh, like some of your videos, other people that like gave me, like we did VOD reviews and stuff. Okay. And, like, what feedback have you gotten from those reviews? Uh, take more off angles. Okay. Be with Why? Because I can get out pretty easily. Okay. I can wall ride. Right. But what's the value of the off angle? Like, even if you just like look at this composition, like let's get to a frame mm -hmm. here. 
Um, so let's just stop right. Right now is good. Okay. <clears throat> mm. what, what do you mean offing those? What would you do? Where would you go? What pressure would you do? Where does Lucio provide that? Like, again, wh where was the feedback here? Where's the application of that? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe go being in the tunnel. Why? Because if I'm there, I can deny Soj from being in the tunnel. Why is that important? Because this, because the Soj likes it, likes to be there. <laughs> That's great. Profoundly simple, but you're 100 percent right. Love it. Why else? What else could you do for the tunnel? Selfishly. Uh -huh. What can you shoot from where you're at right now? The ram, the the venture, the Moira, and like how accurately? Pretty accurately. Okay. Like, what about if you were in the tunnel? Tunnel that would be harder because I have to go through, want to shoot through the windows. Okay. And like, like rotate around the windows. So you're saying here it's a little well, bit easy, easier to hit shots just directly on the ram, but here you have like maybe a smaller window to hit through. <clears throat> I want you to be very clear. I'm you are not stupid. I'm asking you tough questions because this is how you're going to get better. Okay? I want you to grind through this. You're doing a great job so far. When you said initially going through the tunnel, you mm -hmm. said, I want to stop the sojourn from being here. Mm-hmm. Why? Because the sojourn wants to be here to do damage. <laughs> Brilliant. Could not put it better myself. But obviously the question is, is, is this, is all of Lusu just denying the enemy team's good positions? Is this position better for you? Or is this position better for you? Is it, can, can you be selfish with it as well? Or is it really just a total self-sacrificial role? Mm. It's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. What it's does like your gut say? Think, think, go ahead, finish your thought there. Cause like, if I be there, if I'm in the tunnel, I deny the soldier. This is great. Yeah. But then, because I'm not there, their Ram and their Lucio can walk up the stairs and aggress onto our Arissa mm. and cast mm -hmm. adventure. Okay. And what would you do to deny them that if you were like, let's say here? So if I was in the position I'm in right now, I could just boop them away and amp speed. Right towards their their soge because she's just sitting on the stairs and she used right fire. right right so you could be in a position to screw up their tank here mm -hmm. great okay yeah. so question now do you think that Ramatra is going to speed boost up the stairs and push your Arissa no why they have bot they just they don't need to don't even worry about bot right now is okay. it a reasonable push from them to go uphill into your tank no not really. So do you, what is the most important position for you guys to control right now? This high ground right here. This high ground right here, right? Or the mm -hmm. tunnel or, and so on. So what you're, re so what if you guys were on the low ground? Mm. And what if they were on the low ground with you guys would there be a world where maybe the ram would speed onto your back line? Probably. More, okay. More Why? Likely. What's changed between you being here and your team being here? The distance is a lot shorter. So. Right. So then you would want to be in a position to deny their tank. Mm -hmm. Right now, their tank is not a threat. So instead, you want yeah. to deny who? The Soj. The Soj. From the tunnel. So you look at each situation and you go, can I deny their harass and deny their DPS or yeah. should I deny and harass their tank? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I want to go back one more time to that initial question for you selfishly, for you doing damage and damage mm -hmm. that matters. Is your damage going to be easier and matter more from here or matter more here or here? Hmm. I think either one works, either other side of the statue or in the tunnel. Okay, why? Mm. 
What's the value of an off angle? Because that's what we're talking about, right? You're helping your yeah. venture or you're maybe going with your Cassidy across the bridge. Why? Why does that matter? It makes one of their DPS or like some of them look to look at us. And so... But don't you do that anyway? Like they're looking at you here anyway. So why yeah. why is it better to look in two spaces? Mm. Let me ask you a question. If your Cassidy is here, yeah. how many opportunities does your Cassidy have getting a pick from this position? Not that many. Why? Um, what can like you see? The, uh, a statue, uh, some stairs. Why? Why can you see so little? Where's the enemy team hiding? Under the bridge or like really close to the wall. What can your Cassidy right. see from here? The stairs. You see? Plus. Yeah. You see? Why is this <laughs> so free now? Because where is the enemy team allowed to hide? They want to hide from here and they want to hide from here. The question is, is can they do both at the same time? They can't. And really. they can't. They can't really. They either have to peek your Arisa Kiriko and your mm -hmm. venture, or they have to peek your Cassidy. They have to they, they can't hide. They can't hide. Mm -hmm. And that's where you are useful. Because mm -hmm. maybe it is tricky for you to shoot through the window, maybe it's not. But regardless, you can help other people get those powerful positions. And how do you dislodge a Cassidy plus a Lucio from a high ground? Yeah. Very difficult. It's yeah. Very difficult to do that. Lucy is not like as good as like a mercy pocket, but the difference between you and a mercy pocket is that you can be anywhere at any point in time and also mm -hmm. doing damage yourself, not just yeah. there to damage boost. Yeah. And in addition to that, in situations when you don't want to help the offing, or you want to play with your tank and deny the enemy tank and speed in or out, right? Mm -hmm. You provide value there where the mercy. What does a mercy do in that situation? Nothing. And it, nothing. Nothing, right? There's a reason why mercy doesn't play in brawl. So. Here's what we're going to do. Two-step process, okay? I'm going to ask you, do you want to be with your tank? Do you want to be with your DPS? And I might ask you that question before the fight even starts. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then I'm going to ask you where you should be. So you're like, wasn't well, that the same question? Well, not exactly. If I, if you say, oh, I want to be with a DPS, well, which one? And where? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And heck, I might even ask you to be a little bit selfish. So you might even ask you to be like, oh, well, which, so which I need to help this DPS. Well, maybe, but which, which angle do you like better for you, for mm -hmm. your damage? You mm -hmm. Got me? Mm -hmm. And that's all we're going to do. What do you think about where you are right now? I think this is okay. I think it's okay too. Prefer if you were coaching your team, how would your team set up differently this fight? Uh... <laughs> What's the problem with your team's positioning right now? Everybody is just kind of there. Everybody's just kind of there. So where should your Arisa Kiriko be? Arisa should just be... It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? I think our Arisa should be with at the bot, and then our Kiriko would be in this high ground behind I us. I like Arisa like here, you know? Yeah, like and then, the yeah. corner. Yeah, and, and then, then here. Kiri's here. Here, you and know? Then, yeah. You're, you're a genius. <laughs> perfect. Oh. Literally perfect. Perfect. I think you get a little bit spooked there. Yeah. That's all right. Now, the funny thing is here is you're not really plus oneing anybody right now, right? Yeah. But, 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 are you applying short off angle pressure? Like DPS pressure here? I think, uh, yeah, I think Kind so. of. Yeah. You're putting some good pressure. Yeah, this is good. So sometimes, sometimes you can be a little selfish here. Now, I prefer you to be with your Cassidy here. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind this. Now, here's another question here. Is your tank in a situation w where they could utilize speed boost or you could disrupt the enemy tank? Yes. Yes. So are you trolling with your positioning right now? More than likely, yes. I no, no, wait a second. You just said that your tank could utilize speed and that you could disrupt the enemy tank. And then I asked you if you're mm -hmm. trolling and you said yes. That doesn't make any sense. I mean... <laughs> like, well, I know, like, I know, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It probably here it would be more impactful for you to help your your Cassidy on the flank here. Yeah, especially considering how close he is. You know, you could really pop yeah. off here. But remember, this is okay. I mm -hmm. don't want you to be with your tank if the tank trade doesn't matter, which it will mm -hmm. oftentimes not matter. But right yeah. now, it's all right. Like, let's let's not lie here. You're not going to do negative here. You're going to get a lot done here. Right? You are getting a lot done here. Right? You are. Mm. The problem, as you're seeing, is that 
how, what will you do here? What would you, what should you do here? So you're with your tank. What's the purpose here? You kind of see what I'm saying? It's tricky. Who should you be shooting? Let's start with that. Either the DPS? Maybe. Sure, sure. So play around your tank and disrupt the tank, but if any of the DPS get close, you get them first? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what about boop? Mm, boop <sighs> is for... Don't overthink this one. Ram. Anybody. Anybody, sure. That, that Anybody. works too. Anybody. Boop is to move people from a position that they want to play to a position that mm. they don't want to play. Yeah. So what should you do with your boop here? Uh, boop the ram into us more. Or, or out. One or the out. Other. Yeah. In, out from cover, period, is useful. Yeah. The problem there is you just miss the boop, kind of wasted yeah. period, yeah. right? So there was no real purpose of the boop. And, and I understand why you did that, because right now I, I imagine you're very stressed. There's a lot yeah. going on your screen right now. Yeah. Many things are shooting at me mm -hmm. or in the general direction. So what you do is you... You break, you break this down. You say, mm -hmm. I'm going to work on using my boop in these messy traits and see if I make a good, just focus on my boop. I'm not going to worry about my amp. I'm not going to even worry necessarily about my positioning. Just always have a plan with my boop. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that when you're trialing out for teams that you're not going to want to do this. I understand. You don't want to go into an in, in, into scrim just because you're practicing something. But once you are with a team, you do want to do this. And once you are playing ranked, you do want to do this. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. I understand. There's a lot of pressure on you because you're trialing out. You want to give your best your best look. And practicing is not your best look, frankly. You got me? Yeah. yeah. So that's all right. But in the meantime here, you can kind of see that that, that oh, boop was good. That boop was good. Nice job. Now, again, I do want to point out that still you helping your Cassidy would have been more useful just to shoot huh. and harass and not just help your Cassidy, but also look, look at all this damage here you could be doing. Yeah. Look at that. Probably mm. more attractive. But I, but I will say that you were useful on the tank trade and don't worry too much that it wasn't technically the opposite, op, best, op, optimal off angle. It was, there was a tank trade happening. You were there with the tank trade. Good for me. Yeah. Good, good, good. And, and you know the best part about this is that you, you, when somebody was in trouble, you immediately help them out. And look at that. You just win the fight off of that. And that was that was good Lucio play. That was good Lucio play. Nice job. Nice job, nice job. Very nice job. <clears throat> Not only did you bail the guy out, but you did damage too that ended up winning you guys the fight. Okay, so now I want you to look at the situation here and think, do I want to help? Remember what, what our rule is? Do I want to be thinking about tank trade here? Or do I want to be thinking more about my off angle DPS? What mm -hmm. do you think? Before the fights even started here, let's actually go back even more. Look at where your Cassidy's positioned. Look at where your Venture's positioned. What are you gonna be doing this team fight? Predict. Uh, no. Helping my tank, maybe. Why? I mean, unless why, no, no, I agree with you actually. Now, why? Because you gotta interpret these gut feelings. Because <laughs> the venture is fine. He, they have dig. Cass yep. is in mega, so like he should be fine. They're already, they're still walking towards. Okay, so I want to stop right there because you made a really important observation. You said Cass is in mega. Cass should be fine. What does that mean? He should be safe because why? they're still walking why? to us. What's safe and about he... Mega compared to, like, wh why is that safe and why was this? Remember the first fight here? Why was this mm -hmm. not as safe as this? What was the dis difference between those two positions? And by the way, it's not the Mega Health Pack. Okay. Um... Where's this fight going to happen? At the gym. Like... At the gym? How far away is the Cassidy? Pretty far from it. Like, Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now mm -hmm. that's important not only for the Cassidy's safety, but also for your efficacy. How mm -hmm. useful is a Lucio this far away? Not, not very. 
Useful. as wow. useful right it mm-hmm. sometimes yeah. it's appropriate but maybe like if you're playing into like a full dive comp or something like that but like mm-hmm. in a brawl mirror your cast is probably not going to be touched you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah so not only would it not be necessary it would not be very bad for you to be plus one in your cast here because he's too far yeah that's why plus one in cast here made sense because you were a lot closer and, and even here because you were a lot closer does that make sense yeah. Yeah. Great observation. So you see, see the thing is, is here is you have your gut feelings correct. I want you to interpret those gut feelings so that you can start to look for those situations and make your gut feeling even more educated. We're educating your instinct is what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. All right. So right here, that's a little risky, but you're in the right position. Because mm-hmm. you're 100% right. I think this is going to be a tank trade fight. Because where else would you be? You know, where else would you yeah. be? Yeah. Could you be? Now let's talk about your boop here. What could you do with your boop? Oh, and by the way, keep in mind your boop does so much damage now, right? So, <laughs> yeah, it does def- a stupid amount of damage now. So, so, like, so that opens I, up your options. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know. They're not. They're not like in a position to where somebody I can use is. Boop to sing. Somebody well, the Moira is. is. You know. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but 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 like let's be honest that there's not all only one thing you can do with boop there's always choices so what do you think yeah what does your gut say just aim for their head and use boop just to do damage so you're just saying just roll out right here bam use this here and just smoke them yeah works for me i, I, for I, me. I can do that yeah, worse for me. I wouldn't end up on the floor. I definitely probably try to amp so that I could cross to here and then just cause yeah. chaos here. Yeah. Yeah, worse for me. It does not happen that way. Um, yeah. Well, my problem is just the transition is awkward, right? You end up on the yeah. floor instead of on like an off angle or high ground. Yeah. That's my main problem. I appreciate the the now. Why did you transition to your Cassidy? Uh, Dead Eye and Venture was mm-hmm. going towards. Smart, isn't it? Yeah. I would say this fight was what I would describe as inoffensive. You did fine. Yeah. You could have done better. You could have transitioned to that off angle on the high ground for your boop faster. That's my yeah. main complaint. But you guys okay. were down one almost immediately. So the mm-hmm. fact that this fight was traded is honestly fine. <sighs> Any questions so far? No. All okay. Right. Okay. Is this feels simple? Yeah. Good. Now, before the fight starts, do you think with where the fight location is probably going to be and with where ultimates are, where should you be? Do you think this is going to be a more tank trade fight or more of an assist and off angle fight? Uh, tank trade. Why? Because there isn't really any. Well, there this there isn't really any high grounds for the cast to play off of, except for the gym. But we're already at the corner anyway. So you're you're limiting your Cassidy to, to high grounds, but I know what your ha- Cassidy might be doing. I mean, yeah, he's he's there, right? Yeah. Here's a question for you: How does this tank trade feel to you in terms of your positioning? Uh, <laughs> it's a little it awkward, feels isn't it? Fine. It's it's all right. Okay. I would okay. personally rather have a Ram instead of a Rissa, but it works. I'm saying the location of where the fight is loca- happening. Personally. Location? It kind of sucks. I, I really dislike this corner. Because, like, if I just stand here, we got a Soj on, the, on that door. There's just a Ram just coming towards my face. Why did the tank trade just... feel so good here and feel so good here? And why does it feel so bad here? There were options. If, if yeah, I think there, there were just options, options to, to like for me to be somewhere else instead of in the like main fight. You got it. There was like high grounds and cover and stuff for you to use to help your tank, mm-hmm. right? There's not yeah. that here. So to be honest with you, before this fight even started, I would have preferred you to play a little bit more in the off angle here okay. because of the, the way that this map is positioned. Yeah. Because this feels terrible. Yeah, it did suck. It feels terrible. Now, 
if your team had called guys, let's speed in with fill in the blank or let's kite out fill in the blank, then you probably mm. would be with your tank. Yeah. But I assume that you guys are just going to blow all the ultimates here. In which case, go on the off angle. We could even beat on the off angle. Make sense? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Why did the Sojourn back away? I think your cat... Somebody bailed you out. Maybe it was your Kiriko. No, it was your Arissa. Your Arissa just saved your life. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Teammates! Nice. Risky, risky, risky beat. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions so far? No. I actually think your They're mechanics have been competitive so far. Certainly not a weak point with your gameplay, at least from what little we've seen. Your movement, it's not bad. Shots, not bad. Not quite as good as maybe my Lucio mechanics as being the funny Astro, you know, superior. Let's put it that way. I'm the greatest. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's do let's do our little exercise again here. Are you going to be playing more tank or are you going to be playing more assist off angle in this fight? Uh, assist off angle. Where? And why? And where? So, uh, Arisa takes the corner, and then we go through the mega towards that back side of that corner. So you're saying you want to assist like here? Yeah, like no. We just freaking talked about why this is bad. The previous yeah, fight, I mean, and now, and now, why yeah. is it good? Why? But but wait, wait, wait. Why is it good now? Because they're not there yet. They're just positionally not there yet. So that so we can take that. Pretty yeah, much, but, but but remember, remember, this your Cassie didn't need help here before. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he doesn't need help. He's just kinda like But but I, I actually agree with you. No, I actually think that you could help him over here. Uh -huh. Because the but because what's changed? Where's the fight location going to happen? It's going to be at the tick point. At this That's a lot here. closer than it was yeah. when they were here. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree. I think I think this is probably a situation where you need to control the off angle. Now, I also would have been okay with you taking the tank trade here because if mm -hmm. it happens on this corner, this isn't too bad for you. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to understand is that this is definitely like, there's definitely some complexity here. You're noticing yeah. it, right? But yeah. also, it's not the end of the world if you make the wrong call. Make mm -hmm. your Go with your gut, think about it for a few seconds between the fight, commit with it, and do the best that you can with the choice that you make. Okay. And then if you want to go back and VOD review and look at it again and think about it again, that's fine. But you don't. it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make a call. Yeah. Just make a call. See, here, you have made the choice to assist tank trade. Yeah. So let's see if you do it correctly. And the answer is not uh, really. Not really. What needed to change in your positioning if you were going to assist with tank trade? Uh... Somewhere. I have no idea. Maybe in the gym? Yeah. I'd say closer to the gym. You still have to be careful there. But yeah. This gives you a little bit more positional verticality, more mu movement, more cover, boop, harass, live. You know, just a little bit better cover, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Definitely an awkward spot for you. I wouldn't overthink it. But yeah, I agree. I uh, die to the thing. Yeah. Well, what's the problem? Uh, they Where are all, you right now? I am in my Arisa's alt and just handing out over And here. where should you be instead? Uh, where our Kiri is. Yep, at least somewhere on the wall here. Yeah. Right? You could be here. They're like You could be here dealing with these guys, but just on the wall. Yeah. This is why I'm being so particular about like where and when you want to fight tank trade or DPS trade because I think a lot of your positional beefs are because there's a little bit of indecision about what you want to do. And so in that indecision, you're kind of floating and that's the worst case scenario. It's okay to make the wrong decision. Just make a decision, okay? What's the fight plan here for you positionally? Where do you want to hold? Uh, tank trade? Maybe. I. 
I think, but <laughs> considering that their DPS are just in us, I'd rather help our DPS. But remember, you're, you need to make that call, not make that call, but be thinking about it now. Now, yeah. You know where that fight's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Do you like where this fight's going to happen for tank trading, for your positioning? Uh, yes. Okay, definitely. then how would you position around the tank trade? Actually, wait, no. Uh, mm. Some in the maybe in the gym, but then there's a venture there. And it's, it's more like, of like an off angle thing rather than a tank yeah. trade. All right, you yeah. could put you could do stuff here. Like this wouldn't be yeah. too bad. Like there is some cover here, but yeah, I think mm -hmm. e either one. Like you could commit to the tank trade here, or you could help your off angle like harassing here or marking here. Yep. Yeah. Good amp. Nice job. Nice. Good stuff. And I could just tell the indecision again. You know? Yeah. Like, you're yeah. like, should I help my Venture? Should I help my Orisa? Answer, yes. You should have been here booping the Sumatra in. Or you should have been in here helping your Venture win the 1v1. You didn't either? Yeah. You're trolling. Yeah. I think there's just, I think sometimes you'll see like high level Lucio players and you see them do like 75 things at once. Like, man, I need to be like that. But if you look carefully, a mm. lot of times Lucio players actually aren't doing 75 things at once. Mm. They're actually doing mostly one thing and then occasionally adjusting and doing the other thing really quickly. Yeah. I promise you, if this is Funny Astro, Funny Astro is committing to either this or committing to either this. He's not doing both. He can't do both. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Just make it make it make a decision. Good speed. And the other thing too as well is like again, how useful is this position for tank trading for you selfishly? Does this feel safe to you? Does this feel useful? Not really. It's... So where would you be put more where should you put your resources then? You see it? <laughs> What do you think? This would be more helpful. Um, Where? With our venture. Or? Or our cast. You could. You a... could go over here. This is short. Heck, you could wall ride and just red at Lucio on the soldier and get her out, right? Your yeah. choice. Your choice. And again, the reason why that's the decision to make is do you notice how like this spot feels awkward with the tank? Ugh. Yeah. So then quickly find a better short range position that mm -hmm. will give you another option. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. That's it. That's all, all That's all it really is, is a lot of this stuff kind of goes back to what we were talking at the start. What selfishly feels more natural for you? This feels more natural for me. You see that? That mm -hmm. feels natural. And look at what just happened. Yeah. Brilliant shot. You should be really proud of that mate. Beats fine, just to guarantee we win this fight. It's fine. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Really nice job. Well done. Okay. I assume you guys are you're rolling in there. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Maybe we uh Oh, we definitely do. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff with your aura management there. The speed and the heal. The amp speed there as well. Really, really good stuff. By the way, any questions so far? I know we've kind of thrown a lot your way. Any questions? And we're back. Okay. My okay. Bad. No, 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 no. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. Any questions so far? <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm good. Okay. All right, sounds good. Sense. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. We'll wrap things up to a nice tidy bow in just a few minutes. Okay. Now, I know <laughs> that you're not going to choose tank trade here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah, for, why? Because, why? 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 Uh, why? There's a soldier on the high ground. There's just well, no, well, not just that, but remember, look at where the fight's going to happen. Yeah. Totally like this is like normandy beach here there's nothing there's no cover there's nothing so yeah. as this fight's evolving where should you be leaning to uh that in of itself it depends right yeah you've um, got choices what do you think 
with my venture. I would prefer being with my venture because she's okay. like Where else? on this wall. Um, you ready for something spicy? Sure. Solo off angle. Yeah. You don't always have to plus one. Why does this feel so good? What's what's attractive about this? There's nobody in here, which is kind of sucks. But why does this feel good selfishly? I can't get shot by the Soge. And... Right. It's a short off angle. Short. Yeah. Short. Short off angle. So you're good. You can harass. You can boop. You can trade backlands. Mm -hmm. Look at all the stuff that you can do here. Right? Yeah. So the main spot of the fight is very open. But there's a lot mm -hmm. of positional choices here. Your probably best bet here is to go up through gem and start playing yeah. patty cake over here. Yeah. But I think that that's something that you could start to do in the transition period between fights. Like, as the fight's starting, like, I know you guys were chasing staggers there late, mm -hmm. but, like, make a choice. Think about yeah. it ahead of time. Where do I need... Where can I play that would be useful for my character? Nice. I think this is where I kind of get scared because our tank is dead and it's like... We're at the point to where, like, we're just coming back in. Mm hmm And it's like, it feels weird here. It does feel weird. It does feel weird. When you're unsure, anchor yourself with what would feel good selfishly if I was playing mm -hmm. Deathmatch. Okay. And where, right. would the, where would you want to go if you're playing Deathmatch? The tunnel. You got it. That's a fun Get, time. You got it. Get up in here. This feel, You can harass, distract. You've got good vision. You're safe. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. You're smart. You know exactly what you needed to do. Now, obviously, you go back here to speed your tank, but I would have been very happy for you to stay in that tunnel. Okay. You know where this fight's going to happen. It's going to ha happen right in the corner. What do you want to do? Yeah. Do you want to sit with your tank here? Do you want to go harass here? Would it give yourself... Pre prepare yourself for what you think you're going to need to do. Yeah. I want to be in the gym. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Nice short, lots of cover, lots of options. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep pushing for the lead. You see the problem. Yeah, now I'm just here. With You're just here. On the floor. You're just here and on the floor. This sucks. Mm-hmm. 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 That's it. And then yeah. The only time when you would want to be here is if you read that I w I'm going to contribute to the tank trade and or we're going to amp speed my Arissa out. And that's probably something, frankly, that you need to be communicating before the fight even starts. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this sucks. This sucks. Yeah, this and, and, sucks. And, and the best part about it is, like, obviously, like, you remember probably kind of what happened here. But even yeah. without that information, we could predict before the fight started that that's probably not the position that you'd want to take. Yeah. Let's watch one more, and then we'll take some notes. Where should you position for this fight with where it's happening, the ults, all that kind of shenanigans? What do you think? Uh, I'm in the gym again. I feel like gym is just fine. Like, yeah, I, I think so too. It feels, it's just safe. Yep, you got a plus one in here too as well, right? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Even if you're amp spinning in, it's not as if you can't be doing that from gym as well. Peek, yeah. catch the tank, and go. Something to consider. Get her. Nice. She's out. Good. Nice. Yeah, no complaints. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's take some notes. Um, actually, you know what? Let, let's let's watch one more fight. I want to I look at one more time. You got time for one more fight? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I want to look at one more fight. Oh, I think I think this is the fight where I do the funny thing. Oh I no! Stuff. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, now you're on main. Why? Because my cast is um, correct. This is this was, a, this was a clearly a fight plan. This is you guys yeah. strategize this. Okay, so yeah. but let me let me be really nitpicky here. Where should you be? On the, the, where the gym is, like on that wall. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Right here. Because like my aura will catch him anyway. So. You got it. You got it. So you do wouldn't necessarily go through Jim, but you still wouldn't prefer yeah. to not be here. Yep. Got yeah. it. Looks good. And then as this evolves, where do you go mm -hmm. now? To the gym again. Cause... To the gym again. You transition in here. Boop. Harass. Mm -hmm. Disrupt. You got it. Yeah. Not here. You not useless here. here. This is very bad. This, this is, is very bad. bad. I feel very, very unsafe. And not only unsafe, but even worse, useless. Yeah. 
you need to help your venture win this. Mm -hmm. And tank trade is no bueno because where is this fight happening? Just at the point. Just in the open, Here. right? Again, yeah. it's just in the open, right? It doesn't feel good. And here comes the Jax. Yeah! Let's go! But we knew that was going to happen. Why? Before... I knew something wrong was going to happen here. Yeah. So that's, to me, the key thing here. Is like, you talk about, like, oh, these split-second decisions is, are, like, screwing me over. Yeah, 100%. That will come with time, but you can accelerate that process by putting in some of the legwork before the fight starts. Think, okay, what's the old economy? Where are we going to be fighting? What should I do? And help yourself out. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. Okay. So, let's take some notes. Lucio, what do you need to practice? Uh, make Simplify it as simple as yeah. you can. As simple as yeah. you can. Take your time. Um, make more concise decisions, like... Wait, 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 what decisions are we doing? Because that's so vague, right? Mm -hmm. uh, whether I am playing with my tank or going off. Mm -hmm. on, on the, oh. Brilliant. You got it, okay. right? So right. before the fight starts, before the fight starts, think about if you are going to tank trade or off angle. Now, what educates those decisions? What are some things you need to consider? Um, where the fight's happening. What where is our, the fight happening? What our else? Old economy. Old. That's good enough, right there. Stop right there. A... Stop right there. Stop right there. Right. Just where's the fight happening? What are the olds? That's it. Okay. It's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Now, there are there other details that matter. Yeah, probably. But, yeah. But, but 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 we're not there yet. This is that's ninety percent of it right there. That's all you need. Before the fight starts, think about if you're going to tank trade or off angle. Once you decide, make sure you're using cover the wall. Get off the floor. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. What else? Anything else? Uh... That was a lot of it, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of like a lot of it. Um, that was a lot of it. What was a lot make, of it? Just, Remember the boops? Just, yeah, the boops. Um, Think about how you want to use boop pre-fight in your mm -hmm. setup phase. Limit test a little. Maybe not in trials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the best part about all this is you could probably see that the, all of this can apply to ranked. All of it. Yeah. And that's what makes this kind of stuff useful. So I would practice these one at a time. Because mm. you may think, like, don't I need to, can I, like, practice all three? Not really. I would always try to practice, I think you could always try to practice, like, where do I want to be before the fight starts? But then mm -hmm. once you find where you want to be, you could focus really hard on, like, your wall writing and your positioning. Mm -hmm. Or you could focus really hard on what am I going to do with the, my boop now that I'm here. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that allows you to kind of break up your practice time and, and mix up exactly what you're doing, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions? Nope. Okay. Does this all make sense? Yes. Now, the best part about all this is that I definitely offered some advice but I think you did what, 78.3, 82.4% of the coaching here, right? You did a good job. You're a yeah. smart player. Yeah. Um,